Do you think uh, alcohol propaganda, like the Heineken commercials, Dos Equis, do you think those probably um, promote kids to do that? Yeah, that's, anytime you see commercials, commercials in and of themselves are for marketing. So, I mean, the whole thing that they're trying to do is, is entice somebody to buy their product. I mean, it's all about marketing and sales. So, to answer your question, yes, of course, it does, um, it is propaganda in that aspect, and it, it gets people, um, encourages them to look at their product. The biggest attractions for um, people drinking or, or alcohol in younger adults and juveniles is the fact that they're not allowed to do it. Um, so, having said that, they want to know, they'll take it upon themselves to try and entertain that and when you get a bunch of people together it seems fun and actually it has some consequences. Does the Windsor Heights um, Police Department have any uh, experience with catching someone underage drinking? We do um, and we, when we patrol during the days and at night sometimes we actually do find people that we've come across that are intoxicated whether they're walking in public which is public intoxication or if they're out driving a vehicle, which is considered operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. Okay. Uh, how exactly do you find out if the person is drinking, if you can't tell by like their behavior? Or... Well, behavior is one of the best ways, actually, that we, we do tell if somebody has been drinking. Another way, specifically speaking of um, alcohol, as far as intoxicating someone, um, alcohol has a smell to it, so we can smell it usually. Mm -hmm. There's something called cognitive um, behavior characteristics, which affects you know how well do you remember things. Can you do more than one thing at one time? There's balance techniques that we look at, um, whether or not you can walk appropriately. Um, there's things that we look at in your eyes. Um, alcohol has the ability to um, disrupt your equilibrium, so your eyes will kind of tell you that as well. And then probably one of the ways that a lot of people are familiar with is we have machines that will actually give you a reading of what your alcohol concentration is in How your How do you blood. figure out what age they are? Sure. Early. The best way to figure out somebody's age is we just ask them. Um, a lot of times when we deal with people, they are carrying an identification card with them. Yeah. Um, when you're an adult, you can usually look at somebody and tell if they, if they also, that you're who you're dealing with, if they look like they're an adult themselves. Um, and if they do look like a juvenile, usually most most juveniles don't want to sit around and hang out with us all day long, so they will tell us um, who their parents are, and then we'll talk to their parents, and their parents will tell us how old they are. So you'll find middle school kids that have been drinking as well. Um, it's not as prevalent as probably the older age kids, um, but middle school kids will take that upon themselves to do that as well, and it's actually even more um, consequential or devastating too because you're younger, you know, I mean, just like there's age limits on prescriptions and stuff like that that you take over the counter, the younger you are that you introduce those things, they're not designed for your, for that type of body and it's it's more devastating to when them. You, um, have you, when you've caught someone underage drinking, have you caught them at like, um, have you gotten reports at like a party that's going on where there's underage drinking? Have you gotten reports of that? Yeah, um, one of the great things about living in a community is uh, other household member, or other neighbors will look after other uh, neighbors' property. So if they are hanging out and they see a bunch of people that aren't there all the time, they will call us and let us know that hey, there's probably a hangout going on at this house, and we'll just simply walk up and knock on the door and ask them how everything's going. And usually from there, you can tell pretty quickly that if there's a party going on, and they're probably well, what? What would you say to junior high or high school kids to avoid being peer pressured into it? What do you think they should do? That's a good question. Um, probably the best way to avoid peer pressure is to come up with a better alternative. Um, because peer pressure, you're always going to be hanging out with your peers and you're always going to be gathering in groups to do things. Um, so when a negative idea is floating around, it's trying to find something more positive or something that you know that you're not going to get in trouble for. Um, what are those penalties that they face when they are, do they get fined, do they get in prison for a couple days or what? Well, probably one of the greatest penalty that not a lot of people think about, including people, um, juveniles or younger adults, is that they could end up dying. Um, I mean, that's, that's the greatest penalty, you know, and then um, what a lot of people think about is other penalties probably are like, you know, how much jail time, how much is this going to cost me, those types of penalties. Um, possession of under alcohol underage is a simple misdemeanor. So at the extreme case, which is determined by a judge, you could face up to 30 days in jail if you're an adult, or you could pay up to a $650 fine. Um, those are kind of the, the penalties. More likely what you're liable to see is um, juveniles 
kids under 18 that are caught with alcohol are probably going to go to a referral program, they'll get arrested, they'll go to juvenile court, juvenile court will give them um, an education opportunity to learn about what they're doing and how negative it is and then hopefully they'll pick a better plan. Some of the penalties that younger adults and minors can face as well is, um, you know, if they're driving, you know, there's the chance of having an OWI, which has a license revocation where you lose your license. Um, if a minor is in possession of alcohol as well, a restriction or a penalty can be um, in the graduated driver's license program, which is for the beginning drivers. Your license can be suspended for that. Um, another option is the education programs. And another part of being referred to juvenile court is the juvenile court officers are required by law to let the schools know. So there's consequences that follow you um, in school as well as far as academics, or not academics, but sportsmanship that you'll be removed from those extracurriculars. Wait, when you catch someone uh, underage drinking, do, you, do um, sometimes they end up getting really sick or in... You talked about earlier in extreme t cases dying. We come across younger people that are so intoxicated um, that they're in imminent danger and they have to go to the hospital.